Machinery installed on board is already tested by the makers and is trouble-free, but failures may occur at any stage of its life cycle. Some are prone to failures at the very beginning, called infant mortality. The examples for this are newly designed electrical and electronic items. Some machinery may fail during the middle period due to improper care, which is referred to as random mortality. Examples for this are cylinder liner and journal bearings under normal running conditions. Some of them fail suddenly when they are used beyond their years of use, which is known as ending mortality. An example for this failure is bottom-end bearing bolts of auxiliary engines. You have received a report from one of your vessels that the electronic printed circuit board, PCB, is failing at the startup stage. What is your strategy for controlling this PCB failure? You have received a report from one of your vessels that the auxiliary engine exhaust valves are frequently burning. In other words, they are suffering random failures. What is your strategy for controlling this random failure? You have received a report from one of your vessels that the main fire pump bottom bush has worn out earlier than it should. In other words, it is suffering a wear out failure. What is your strategy for controlling this wear out failure? However, all these failures can take place in different components of the same machinery. Thus, the maker incorporates the running hour maintenance accordingly. You can see the maintenance running hours of two components of the auxiliary engine connecting rod. The maker designs most components to resist infant mortality. The condition of the bearing metal of a connecting rod is checked every 5000 hours, since it may suffer random failure. Bearings can fail if lubrication is improper or bolts are not adequately tightened. The connecting rod bolts have to be replaced every 20,000 hours as it is then susceptible to ending mortality.